Hello! In this short video we're going to take a look at a very exciting technique which is being used right now to map the connections in the human brain. This technique is known as serial block face scanning electron microscopy and essentially what it does is it takes a small chunk of tissue, in this case brain tissue, and um, it, image, it takes the flat surface of the block of tissue and images it with the electron microscope, with the scanning electron microscope. And then a very thin slice is taken off of the, the, the block face and another image is taken. And then another thin slice is taken off and another image is taken until you can um, reconstruct this original block of tissue with thousands of individual images. To give you some idea of the scale of this block of tissue, this side is something like 5 microns. So we're looking at what is a very small piece of the brain. So by scanning through um, a block of tissue using the electron microscope, you can get incredibly high resolution data. And, you know, for example, this is probably part of either an axon or a dendrite. Um, and you can follow that structure through the thickness of the block. And I've done that just for one structure here to demonstrate the kind of results you can get. So if we go back to the complete block, and I can switch on now uh, my segment, which is in fact um, a single dendrite with its associated dendritic spines. And I've been able to follow this through the thickness of the block, such that when I scroll down through the slices, the three-dimensional representation of this single dendrite remains. So you can see that we have what looks like a dendrite here, and we have these multiple dendritic spines connected, uh, which are the sites of synapses where axons from distant regions of the brain are connecting. Now imagine if you didn't do this just for a single dendrite, but you did it for all of the structures within this small block of tissue. So you were able to identify what's an axon, what's a dendrite, where are the synapses. And then imagine if you were able to scale that up to larger regions of the brain, what then might you be able to do? Well, the truth of the matter at the present time is we don't know what we'd be able to do, even if someone magically gave us that data set right now. It seems likely that the computational power that we have at our disposal would be completely inc incapable of processing this, and we are nowhere near uh, simulating a brain or anything like that um, in silico. However, that is not to say that this kind of technique um, is not possible in, in principle and that it would not in principle be possible to um, use this to maybe even resurrect someone after death um, by um, looking at the connections in their brain and uploading them in some way. But this is all very, very fanciful, but nonetheless still incredibly fascinating. So that was just a very, very quick demonstration of this incredible technique of serial block face scanning electron microscopy being used right now in order to try to derive the most fine-grained connectome of humans and other animals. So thank you very much for listening.